Five local kids are creating some mouth-watering recipes for some pretty big bucks. They are competing in the Kitchen Kids Cook-Off today at the Stratford University School of Culinary Arts in Falls Church. The grand prize, a $10,000 savings bond. Now, the contest encourages children ages 7 to 14 to create a nutritious and delicious recipe using milk, cheese, or yogurt. Some of the yummy concoctions, the Key Lime Pie Parfait, Sammy's Spicy Chili Bake, Summer Grilled Bananas right there, and peachy keen dessert and also a summer berry shake. Mm. Yeah, I know, sounds good. We spoke with last year's winner who is also a judge. It was a hard decision between most of the foods. Um, most of it was really good. <laughs> Elf spit there. The finalists <laughs> were picked from 800 entries, and the winner was the Key Lime Pie Parfait. You know, some of them are bound for Top Chef, right? I'm thinking, oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm hungry, too. The Washington Wizards on the edge of elimination with a heartbreaking loss before 20,000 screaming fans. I actually watched this okay. game. Plus, round two of the Redskins draft picks. Two big local stories in sports. Fox 5 Sports Director Dave Feldman here now with all the action. Hey. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Will. We'll begin with the Wiz, who are trying to protect home court today. Win at Verizon Center, and they go back to Cleveland with the series tied at two games apiece. Feeling pretty good. Lose, and the Wiz would face elimination Wednesday in Cleveland. LeBron James doing his pregame powder thing before tip-off at uh, what makes the Cleveland people happy. It annoys others. Deshaun Stevenson would powder LeBron's head, the hard foul. Stevenson would get a flagrant one, so he's not ejected. But LeBron got two shots. Pick it up late. Final minute. Wizards down two. Gilbert Arenas, a very difficult shot. We're tied up at 97. Gil just had 10, but those two were huge. So we're all tied up until LeBron James finds an open Delonte West. He's from Greenbelt, Maryland, and that was from three. Cleveland wins 100 to 97. They lead the series three games to one. You got to have confidence. Uh, like I said, you give up 20 offensive rebounds, and it takes uh, a big shot from Delonte West to beat you. So, uh, we definitely have confidence because, like I said, the games we've lost, we've done some, made some fundamental errors. The first game, uh, the first two games, it was just lack of passing. This game, it was poor offensive rebounding. Um, then we had a stretch where the ball kind of started sticking, but we got out of that, and we can't have those stretches. So it was a lot of things that we did to ourselves, but at the same time, they forced us into it. You guys still feel you can win the series? I mean, we have to. If not, we're going to lose. You know, going to their place, if we're not confident we can go out there and win, it's going to be a, a tough uh, situation. Their fans are going to be ready for us. we got to go back there and you know, get a win on that court. Game five, Wednesday, back in Cleveland. When's the last time the Redskins had ten draft picks? Ten? They usually have two or three. Well, today, seven more picks selected to join the Burgundy and Gold, starting with the guard Chad Reinhardt out of Northern Iowa. Reinhardt was a third-round pick, 96th overall. Joined by fourth-round pick Justin Tryon, out of Arizona State, the 124th selection. Punter Durant Brooks out of Georgia Tech and safety Kareem Moore out of Nichols State were both six-round picks. Change. Another six-round pick, quarterback Colt Brennan out of Hawaii, a sidearm slinger. Defensive end Rob Johnson, the seventh-round pick out of K-State, and safety Chris Horton from UCLA. They round out the Skins draft, a draft that included two wide receivers, a quarterback, and two safeties. I think this draft class probably we covered a lot of positions. You know, I think we were able to fulfill a lot of things that we went into the draft looking for. On defense, we were really when you talk to the defensive coaches, the number one need coming in on defense really was safety, you know, because we just had three on the roster. Coming up tonight on Geico Sports Extra, Vinny Serrano will join us to break down the entire draft, a draft that early reports, Maureen and Will, are calling a success. Lots of new plays for us to remember and <laughs> I'm still trying to get, get used to, hear to from. <laughs> Jim Zorn. I keep mangling that name. You'll All right. It. You'll get it. All right. In just three minutes, a Fox exclusive, the leading Democratic candidate in the presidential race, slows down just long enough for a one-on-one. -on -one. Barack Obama talking about whose money he'll take, whether he'll debate, and he addre addresses race questions. The Chris Wallace interview after the break. And we all know driving around D.C., especially in rush hour traffic, well, it's no treat, but pedestrians may have it better here than anywhere else in the country. This one may have you lacing up your walking shoes. Go to my